So after Drake Ballard in the number seven got hung up on the inside, retaining Berm over in turn number two. That does bring up the caution with no laps being scored, so we still have Paniski, Holepka, road number one, green flag coming by, coming out this time by 415. And I. Not sure what happened between the number 29 of Abby Blazel and AK of Archer Cashin, but they went around over in turn number three, three on a pace lap. So, one more time. Field stacked and racked. Behind it, Pininsky, Halupka, row number one. Weston Johnson, Clayton Hoftig, row number two. Reese Smith, Drake Ballard, row number three. Check that Drake Ballard did go to the tail of the field. So two by two by two. And we're off and running. First lap in the mid pack. Only at Thunder Hill do you see such action in the opening laps. Pinitsky. Pam Pinitsky, your leader. Weston Johnson. In the number 28, out front, Cam Paninski in 22. Third and second, Clayton Hoftig in the third in the 55, followed by the 44 of Reese Smith. And in fifth is Kaelin Haas in 17. Dominic Weber and Bentley Halupka. Let's see, Weber, Weber cannot negotiate that interior retaining berm that is posing a lot of trouble for drivers when they get on that. It uh, seem to be having a little bit of a time trying to get off of that inside retaining berm, but that's what these classes are all about. When you advance in age, so these drivers are between the ages of eight and 13. So when you advance in age, move up a class, that's gonna have some more stuff thrown at you running in fourth, Kalen Haas in fifth. And they bring the rest of the field up to green plank speeds. Five laps in at 10, the remaining Weston Johnson. Out front, look at the battle, shape it up for fourth. Holupka in the middle, three wide, Reese Smith goes Ahead of Holupka, Kalen Haas right there. Holupka, Smith, Ballard, and Haas. And now Finnegan gonna get in the mix. Weston Johnson, Cam Paneski, Clayton Hoffman. And Bentley Holupka. Toronto, Kaelin Haas and Reese Smith, they got the other end for Smith, saves it. And is in sixth, sixth place being challenged by Finnegan. Finnegan trying to get around the 44th, Reese Smith. Haas tucks in behind him, Jacob Anderson right there. Good battles taking place. Fifth through tenth in this feature event. We got 10 in, five remaining for your leader, Weston Johnson. In 28, Cam Paninski, Clayton Hoffgate, they've been your first three all night long, but look out because here comes the 99 of the Bentley Holupka. Holupka started the outside of row number one, fighting to get back up there. Holupka, wing to wing with Hoftig as they come to turns three and four. Holupka 
Now in a podium spot, Hofte gonna try and answer back, Jake Greg Ballard back in fifth. This has been all Weston Johnson all night long. Cam Paninski doing everything he can behind the wheel of that number 22 to try and catch up to the 28 of Johnson. Johnson catching the tail of the field. Will lap traffic become a factor? Johnson, lap traffic is not a factor. I tell you what, first, second, and third, respectively. So Clayton, Clayton Hofte coming back in third. Back in second, the 22 of Cam Paninski, and we're going to meet our winner in just a second. But fifth through tenth, well, that was some great racing. We were two, three, four wide one time, and we were three wide in two different spots twice in the same lap. So talk about getting your money's worth, ladies and gentlemen, to that last division, the junior wing division, certainly paid for itself with the price of admission. And to the victor go the spoils, climbing out of the 28 cart. This driver gets to go back home to Clayton with a Thunder Hill victory under his belt, ladies and gentlemen, as he takes his safety gear off. Helmet's about to come off. As soon as that helmet comes off, you guys turn that noise on and let him hear you. He is out of Clayton, Wisconsin. Gets to call himself a victor here at Thunder Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Weston Jackson. Freight is the backbone of the country. And as long as people need goods, they're gonna need somebody to get it to them. My name is Matt Ball with QualityFreightRate.com, powered by T-Force Worldwide. We provide LTL, truckload, and expedited freight services across this country. If your freight weighs over 120 pounds going over 120 miles, that's where my shipping rates kick in. With our system, our customers are able to quote and book shipments with ease 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We work as consultants in the industry, so it doesn't matter what your problem is, we'll solve it. We can help all size business, big or small, we love them all, but we have a special spot for small business. Small businesses are pillars in the community. They need to have competitive rates. They can't be getting gouged or they lose the sale. We educate the customers, we solve problems, and we lower their shipping rates. And that's what I've been doing for 28 plus years.